What's up, guys? Welcome to Herping Lebanon. Uh, if you're a fan of herpet fauna and wildlife in general, make sure to subscribe. So earlier, I received a report about a bunch of southern banded newts uh, trapped. Uh, and my luck, the weather is fine today, so we're gonna go to the area to explore a bit and uh, make sure to release the newts. So stick to the end and see that happening. It's our first encounter for today, it's the Manushi. That's a Lebanese version of pizza, a simple version of pizza. It comes with cheese and thy or thyme or whatever you want. And it's a must before starting a day in the field. So we're gonna finish our breakfast and move on to our This is Fahad, he's our friend from here. He's the one who found the newts in the first place, so he's gonna show us around for more. So guys, this is the place. This is where the newts are. It's running water. For some reason they come here to lay as well. It's a bit of a weird place for them to be, but I'm gonna yeah. start looking. Hopefully we'll be lucky to film some mating behavior, some egg laying, and even some babies. I will also try to catch some and show you up close. The males are beautiful right now. They're in their, during the mating season, they form this huge crest on their back. It's a female, or is it a male? Wait, let's take a closer look. Here you go. Oh, it's a female, it's gravid. Look at this belly, huge belly. Look, the female lacks the crest, but she's as pretty as the male. So guys, it's the Southern band Banded Newt. It's the only newt species in Lebanon and it's one of the two species from the salamander family. The other one is the Near Eastern Fire Salamander. So far we found three males and one female. Uh, oh, here's another male. It's weird. Males are driving here. Turn this out, sitting out in the open. can see it will swim away if I try to reach out. Right. Swim away. No, it's high down. I still want to find more females because more females means there will be more babies. More babies means there will be more newts next year. Now, of course, not all of the babies survive because they consume each other, they have can uh, cannibalism, and lack of food, chemicals, and human activity leads to their extinction and disappearance. So guys, now I got my GoPro and we will plant it somewhere in hope to get some nice underwater footage for these animals. We're still finding more males than females. This is another male. And another male. That's a bit worrying actually. Females are the ones who will save the species because one male can mate with multiple females. So, but the laying part is female's job. So, 
the less females there is, the less eggs there will be. And that's a male and another male. So there are four males near each other and still no females right now. I'm hoping that I'm just unable to spot the females and they're re actually there. And there's another male, fifth male, in only a few meters. We're still looking. I'm really hoping to spot female. Please be a female. The first one we found was a female. I was happy to see it, but now they're almost. Oh, that's a female. Look at that. Chubby female, and probably she's laying eggs. See? I'm gonna take a underwater footage of her and hope to spot the eggs without stressing her out, of course. Here we go. There is a couple guys sitting near each other. You can see the obvious difference between the male and the female. The females are a bit smaller usually, but this one is quite big. And the male is slimmer with a crest on his back to seduce the females, whereas the females is full of eggs waiting to lay them. It's a bit tricky, so I'm gonna try to take some pictures of them from above water since it's quite clear. There is a big male approaching the other. Maybe it's his territory so he will kick the other male out. And there are two females sitting right here behind the second male. So it might be a fight for girls. Let's see what happens. Well, this is, this is interesting. It's chasing the other. Check out this little guy. Pretty little one, really colorful. With yellow spots on his head and bright orange belly. It's one of the juveniles that finished metamorphosis earlier and trying to climb out of the water. That's an early. Uh, clutch, probably. Hello, little guy. I'll take some pictures of this one and leave him in peace. So now we left the GoPro to film some of the nudes and went to check out Fahad's lands and see what we can find there. He said there are some fossils in the rocks, so we might find something interesting. I'm curious to see them. We go for a short fossil hunt. Some cool flowers over here. Fossils are somewhere around here. Oh, wrong way. When? Oh, I bet. That's interesting. Okay, 
I have no clue what that is. Looks like a uh, sea urchin or sea star. I'm really bad at this, but I don't know. Maybe someone can tell me after seeing the video. And here's another fossil. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if it's a horseshoe crab or it looks like a shell of some kind. Uh, it's really hard to tell. And I don't want to ruin the rock to figure out at the moment. So let's hope someone can tell us. Make sure to leave a comment okay. if you think you know what these creatures are. A lovely area. Lots of new houses and humans taking over, but nature is still kind of around. Let's see. Oh, that's a lot. And, oh, and crabs and more newts. Something weird is happening here. These are all males. Look. Oh, there are some dead females. Poor creatures. So we're gonna. So guys, just before releasing the newts, I want to show you one male and one female up close. The colors. Are amazing you can see the male is all military colored it's like a uh, army suit with this huge crest on his back looks very prehistoric whereas the female is uh, looks just like a normal salamander it has no crest you can see its belly is full of eggs uh, both their bellies are orange in color it's really cool their babies on the other hand emerge from their eggs and stay in water until they finish their metamorphosis uh, during this time they feed on small creatures that live underwater and sometimes even on each other. Uh, it also applies to adult newts. Some parents feed on the baby newts if they uh, stumble upon them because they're easy prey and they're a good source of protein. Uh, that's one of the reasons most uh, many babies do not survive till adulthood. When the babies finish their metamorphosis they emerge from water as well like most of the species in the salamander family and uh, continue a terrestrial lifestyle until they reach sexual maturity and enter the same cycle their parents went through. And now we're gonna collect the rest of the newts and release them back where they belong. My sister will help with that. Here she got first male. It's her first time to her for newts in the wild.
Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, make sure to check my other videos and hit the subscribe button.